Hey plant friends, welcome back to my channel, Planty Princess 92 My name is Ashley and today we will be doing an unboxing. So today's unboxing, I believe, now I'm waiting for a few plants to come no surprise there so i think this one is going to be a syngonium pink splash i think once again as always i will link the seller in the description box below and let's just get this this opened up here so right when we first open the box, you have a card, the, their little card taped onto the package. And it looks like the plant is wrapped in some sort of paper. Now also what I liked is on the outside, they have the live plant sticker as well as fragile this side up on all sides which that I really like because, um, and I'm sure this happens, you know, multiple times to a lot of people, um, but I know one time I did open a plant um, upside down when I pulled it out, I pulled it out and with the pot upside down. Luckily, um, no harm came to that plant, but you know, potentially it could. So I like that it said this side facing up. So now we'll go ahead and pull this out of the box. It is pretty secure and snug inside this box. Um, I think it is. Yep, it's taped to that side. Okay, so now that we got this out, I'm not really sure what's going on here. So it looks like this is going to be the bottom. And then they wrapped it like extra wide and put extra cushion it looks like in here because they only bought one plant so this must be uh provided cushion for the plant to keep it kind of secure from banging around and shifting around inside the box during shipping yep so this was just a cushion like i said um, you always want to check and make sure because you never know. Um, sometimes when people are packing stuff, say, um, you know, even if they're not meaning to send you something extra, say a little stem breaks off of your plant while they are packaging it and it has a node or it's able to be propagated, they might wrap it up um, separately and also put it in there to give you that as well. So whenever there is extra um, papers or crumbled up things, you always wanna open them just to make sure nothing like that happened because um, you wouldn't wanna throw away a plant that could potentially turn into another plant. Okay, enough mumbo jumbo. It is the pink syngonium. Ready? Ladies and gentlemen, this beautiful princess, the pink syngonium splash. Oh my goodness, some of these leaves are so beautiful. Wait till I show you now. Now in the picture, what made me choose this one is because in a couple of them, the way the veins were coming down, it was like it was like a pink shadow almost kind of radiated off of the side of the vein. So let me find that leaf. Here's one. There was two that I saw in the picture. So this one here, and if you can kind of tell, like you see this pink coming down the vein, it kind of just sort of looks like it's like a gradient highlight that sort of comes out from the side of the vein. This one does it a little bit too there at the top. I don't know if you could see that. Let me get out of the picture. Um, so that one does it a tiny bit. I think that's the one I showed you, but that one does it a lot too. You can kind of see it in the light there. Um, this one, that's the one I showed you. That one does it a lot. 
This one here is the newest leaf that just unfurled. And it you can tell it's a, a mature plant because it already has lobes formed. So this is one of my favorites. It's kind of just splashy with some polka dots, some solid, some solid splash there. That's really pretty because it has two variations of greens. And also you have the pink up there on the lobes. We have a new leaf coming in here. And then we have almost a full pink leaf. Let me get, it looks like when the light's shining through it, it kind of looks like it's a little green, but this is a full pink. You can kind of see it as it's flat there. Almost a full pink with that little stripe of pink going through the one of the lobes. And then the other lobe is just kind of like, like a wave of pink and green sort of. So this plant turned out so beautiful. I am so excited. It has a lot of nice aerial roots starting. So I'll show you that here, right above my fingers. Aerial roots and one on that side, this side as well. There is another one going down into the soil right along my finger here. And I think that's all the aerial roots I see. This turned out to be a really beautiful plant. I am so excited about this. I think for this I paid, now anytime I, I say I think I paid, it's you know probably within $20 or so of the price because I don't necessarily remember every price of every plant that I buy. Um, but I believe this one was around $80, like I said, give or take. Um, what's really nice is the roots are starting to grow out the bottom of this one. So that tells me after it acclimates, maybe I will pull it out of here and see what I am working with because it may be in need of a um, repot. Um, now, Syngoniums do um, like to be a little bit root bound. They do tend for me to grow a little bit better when they're root bound. Um, this one I think is gonna be, I think this one would be a really good prolific climber rather than trailing. Um, now, a lot of Syngoniums, you can do either or. I think there are some that do stay more um, bushier rather than start to trail out or climb but you can choose to keep them in that form as well um with trimming and pruning and all that if you would prefer to have a bushier look to your syngonium now this may be one that i will put on a trellis because i have one other that i have on a trellis and i really like the look of that and i think with all this pink variegation and all this green and pink splash I think that would look really pretty twisting up a um, moss pole. So maybe I'll have to make my own moss pole, make a video on that. Look out for that. I'll decide um, what kind of materials I will need to get for that and get that made up for this little girl. Also, I am on my way to 100 subscribers. So I'm going to mention in this video that keep a look out once I reach 100 subscribers. I will be doing uh, a small giveaway of two or three plants to two or three different subscribers. And I will um, make a whole video on what is required to be a participant in that. So just keep a look out for that as well. Thank you guys again for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video and seeing this beauty. There's just so many amazing Syngoniums. I am just, as, as much as I'm getting into Hoyas, I'm starting to get into Syngoniums as well. I actually have another Syngonium on the way. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you're interested in the content I provide, as well as check out my Instagram for daily plant content. Thank you again for watching. Every plant's a princess.